From Season 1, Episode 1, Boyd is the town sheriff he rings a bell to tell everyone to get home. Kenny plays chess with Lou. Sarah tells Lou to go to the basement, says bye to Kenny, and fixes her talisman. Boyd makes sure everyone gets into their homes before night. There have been 96 days without incidents. Boyd shows Frank what happened when he went out drinking, his wife and kid dead to the monsters. He finds the talisman on the ground, and he takes it. The Matthews arrive at a roadblock. Crows start to flock around them. They get back in the the caravan. Boyd visits his son and tells him to go to the funeral service to pay respect to Lauren. The Matthews drive into town and see all the cars have flat tires. They finish up the funeral service and Boyd tells the people not to talk to the family. Jim asks Boyd for directions and he tells him to follow the road. The Matthews follow the road and they drive back into the town. Jim asks a girl for directions but she ignores him. They drive back into town the third time. They reverse and drive back. A car drives at them and they swerve off the road and crash into trees. Trees. Boyd is laying out a spike trap. He finds a guy saying there's been an accident. Boyd finds a guy and cuffs him to a car. He climbs on top of the RV and gets in the checks that Tabitha's alive. He gets Julie out. Jim finds out Tabitha woke up. He leaves the RV to talk to them. Boyd tries to convince them to leave, saying that the woods are dangerous after dark. Tabitha says there is something weird about the town. Jim decides to stay and help Ethan. Boyd puts up a talisman and Jim questions it. He says he is trying to keep the RV safe. Julie and Tabitha get into town by truck, but they run over the spike strip they laid before they run out of the truck. Jim wants to know what making the RV safe means and Ethan starts having a seizure. Boyd watches people come to the RV from season 1 episode 2. People ask if they're okay and Jim goes to let them in, but Boyd chokes him and tells him they are not people. Tabitha and Julie run across the field at night. They get to the door and the colony won't open the door. They let them in before the monsters get in and they tie up Tabitha and Julie. They keep Tabitha in her room. Don Donna explains what rules they follow in the town. Fatima shows Julie Ellis's paintings. They pull the rod out of Ethan's leg. Donna explains that when she got there she saw the tree in the road. They drove through a straight line but made it to the town. They drove a second time and a person was smiling in front of the car. Her sister got out with a shotgun and started screaming. It smiled and ripped her face off. They were surrounded she ran off and hid in brushes at the end of the forest. She could still hear her sister scream. Jim says he's an engineer and he builds theme parks and Krasidi says he says it in the present tense. The Matthews reunite. Kenny finds the door open to the hospital. His father is dead. He explains to Boyd that they are running out of moves. The monsters always walk and smile. They never run. The Matthews are in the colony. From season 1 episode 3. Boyd wakes up and stares at a metal shed. He checks in on Frank. Jade finds out that the town is inescapable and that monsters come out at night to hunt them. He doesn't believe it. He thinks Toby paid a fortune for the acting and he wanders around town. Jim and Tabitha are made to join the choosing ceremony where they pick if they want to live in downtown or the colony. Jade goes into the diner and asks where the next clue is. He skips the line and grabs the food. Tabitha and Jim find out about the box, the only form of punishment they have. When a person's negligence affects the death of others they are put into the box. Tonight is the first time they use it. Father shows them the room where Megan and Lauren died. It is their house if they decide to keep it. Boyd says he can't put Frank in the box. It was built as a deterrent. Father says that what happens when people realize he doesn't have the conviction to use the only punishment they have. Boyd leaves and says he's a horrible fucking priest. Boyd lets Frank go to an abandoned shack in the middle of the woods. The town goes to the choosing ceremony. Frank interrupts and says that he appreciates what the sheriff did for him, but he needs to see his two girls again. Jade says that everything is such good acting. Boyd takes him and he picks town. Kenny takes him away. Jim picks town. Tabitha picks town. Ethan picks town. And Julie picks colony. Kenny shows Jade Toby's body. Frank gets put into the box. The Mathas settle in. Jade moves in with Kenny. From season one, one episode 4. Boyd finds Frank's body ripped apart, and Jim and Ethan decide to go get breakfast. Boyd drags Frank's body across town. He hides it from Ethan. They meet Sarah. They eat pancakes together. Ethan says do they have to stay here. He says no think of it as a vacation. Jim goes to the restroom and cries. Jim gets out and shoves a creep trying to talk to Ethan. He tells him not to come back, and they leave the diner and go home. Jade finds out people from all over the country teleported there. He steals a radio. Jim and 
Tabitha argue at the front of the house about how things aren't gonna be okay. They don't know what's going to happen and Julie knows they were going to get a divorce. Father tells Boyd he needs to be the one to lead the people home. It was three months before an incident, but in the last few days, there were six deaths. They get back into the house and can't find Ethan. They find his walking stick. They walk through the woods screaming his name and they encounter a pack of dogs. Victor shoots a shot and the dogs scatter. They get Ethan and Lee. Jim talks to Boyd about Victor and he says he'll talk to Donna about it. Boyd screams into a mirror then has dinner with the Matthews. Sarah has a seizure. Victor digs some graves. He says he is trying to get a head start this time. From season 1 episode 5, Boyd stops Nathan from seeing Sarah. Jim decides to brainstorm what is happening. Jade finds out about a bar and talks to Tom. He says they are living as the cat in Schrodinger's cat. And the people outside the world think they are simultaneously alive and dead. Sarah visits the Matthews. She takes Ethan to go see the animals on her brother's farm. Boyd talks to his wife and tells her that he might try and free the people from the town. Boyd asks their father how he knows if he got a sign from God. Jim runs into the barn and lets Tabitha out. They find Ethan and Sarah had killed Nathan. They walk back and Jim screams at father and Boyd saying that they act like it's Mayberry. They add to the brainstorm. Did we survive the crash? Boyd talks to Christy and she says that Sarah took the scalpel from her clinic. Boyd says she needs to cut herself some slack. The music machine turns on and Boyd says he got his sign. From season 1 episode 6, they bury Nathan's body, and Father Cotry gives a sermon about living. Father tells Tabitha hasn't seen Sarah after she ran into the woods, and he goes downstairs and talks to Sarah. Jim realizes the cords don't have wires in them and the plugs are one prong. Jade busts in the door with all his equipment. He wants them to help him find a way out. Father convinces Sarah to help the town. They harvest wires from their craft cars. Jim scales a tree to try and get reception. Jade finds blood and hanging bodies, and a hunter chases him and stabs him. When he comes to Jim helps him off, but he walks off. Father Cotry find out about Sarah's voices, and that she was told about the two cars that came on the day, and that they promised to get them out of there. Jim turns on the radio, and he gets a static. Jade writes out the symbol he keeps on seeing. Kenny's mother shows him a book where people wrote the same symbol. Boyd confesses he has Parkinson's and doesn't have much time left, so he needs to find the people a way out. Jim finds a massive hole in the wall, Ethan carries dirt around, and Tabitha found a bracelet they lost in a hospital when she gave birth to Julie. They dig to try to find where the electricity comes from. Father digs up a bag and finds a chocolate the same as in Sarah's drawing. They play catch. From season 1 episode 7, Boyd rings the bell to make everyone go home. Tabitha reads the Kromakunkel to Ethan. Father and Boyd have a sleepover. Katri shows Boyd the bag he buried when he arrived. Cotri explains that before all this he knew a kid that went to his church. He gave him a candy bar and sent him on his way. He didn't want to leave. After church he went by the house to check. He found the kid with a broken neck and house intoxicated in alcohol. He beat the dad until he bones broke and he started drinking and driving and ended up there. He says Sarah could be their way out. A guy lets a monster into the colony house. It kills him. Jade is forced to eat dinner with the family. Boyd finds out about the voices and Sarah's drawing he wants them to go with Boyd on the adventure. The monster in the colony house lets the other monsters in. Jade finds a picture of Victor in the book. They lure Trudy into a room. She is killed. The house finds out monsters are inside. Victor says it's starting. Julie and Victor climb down and they watch people frantically run. Victor sees the white boy and they follow him into the trees. Ellis comes out of his room late. He finds Trudy's body. He jumps out a window and jumps off a balcony. Fatima finds him and monsters walk up to them. Them. They get back inside the house and stay in the vestibule. She uses the talisman. They try to open the door, but they are safe. Julie gets into a faraway tree. She falls into a room. Boyd and Father are talking about the voyage to get answers. When they hear beeping in a van, they quickly get the survivors in, but Father is slashed. They pray in Father Catry's last moments. From Season 1 Episode 8, the colony house combines with the houses in town. Boyd leaves, and he lets Kenny resume his position as sheriff. Flashback to the day Boyd got into town. He was driving down and talking about how they bought him a boat and he stops before a tree. Boyd takes a walk with Sarah. He explains that father is dead and the only reason she is alive is because father believed she could help. Julie explains what happened at Colony House. Julie has a mental breakdown. Jade busts in the door and asks for Victor and Jim pushes him out. Jim explained that he made him do all the things and then ran off, but it worked. They need to get more power and higher elevation. Flashback, Boyd drives into town and father stops them and convinces them to leave before the monsters get there. They can
convinced Donna to let them build a cell tower and put it on top of the colony house. She says the things killed 14 people last night. Boyd puts Sarah in a shed in the middle of the forest. Flashback Boyd's first time finding the bodies is the monster's mutilation. Boyd stops the people from raiding the diner. Flashback, Ellis tells Boyd to stay home because mom isn't doing well, and he decides to talk to them later that night. Boyd chases after a dog. He gets lost at night in the forest. He falls into a cave and the monsters surround him. They leave. He finds the talisman. Boyd goes and explains to Ellis before he leaves for his voyage that he loves him and that all this time he put his rage and blamed him. He lets him say anything before he regrets it in the future. And Ellis says okay. Flashback, Boyd takes the talismans out in the daylight. He hears gunshots and runs back into town. He finds Abby shooting people. She says she needs to wake them up. Ellis runs by and Boyd shoots her before she can shoot Ellis. Boyd leaves his sheriff badge, gets equipment, and walks out into the forest. He finds Ellis. Ellis said that he had to say goodbye before he left. He sees Sarah, and Boyd tells Ellis to trust him. The town and colony have a meeting. There isn't going to be a colony and town anymore. They are a community. Jim discusses that they need to get batteries and build to get a signal. Boyd cuffs Sarah. From season 1 episode 9, they hike into the forest. They find the hut Boyd used to survive on that night. Boyd finds out that the voices told Sarah that if she didn't kill the little boy, then her brother would die. Boyd takes off the handcuffs. Jade is still trying to find Victor. Since the day of the colony's 14 deaths, Victor is missing. He wants to know what the symbol means. Jim needs to charge the batteries and get more power. Donna has a mental breakdown. They find bottles in the woods. Sarah starts hearing the voices and has a seizure. Donna explains that if the tower fails it's horrible because they got the people's hopes up and that if it works they might miss something in the town. Kenny rings the bell for people to go home. He comforts Christy for a guy hanging himself. Jade complains and Kenny's mom screams at him and shows him electricity. He realizes how to get electricity. They hang a talisman in a tent. Sarah explains that the voices say that what's beyond the forest and worse than monsters, and their tent gets shaken. They reach the bottom of the hole and find something. From season 1 episode 10, Jade explains that the electricity comes from the wires meaning if let the wires into the socket of the plugs, it works, they can turn the colony house into a massive battery. They open the tent into massive cobwebs. Jade explains to the town about electricity and tells them to gather as much wire as possible. Ellis tells Fatima he loves her and he gives her a wire ring. Sarah warns Boyd they need to go back. He hears a voice and runs into the webs. He sees his wife, spiders bite him, and they hike up a mountainside. They holster up the equipment for the radio. Jade leaves to get his rolling paper. He prays with Kenny's mom and Jade brings back snacks and rings a bell. They get ready to start the radio. They put up the tower. They turn on all the light bulbs of the house. They get a signal and a storm starts coming. They keep going up a hill and in the rain, they find a light tower. Jim talks into the radio and calls for backup on different channels. A voice tells him his wife shouldn't be digging that hole. Jim runs off. The light bulbs explode. He finds a massive hole in his floorboards. The boy in white shows Sarah a place to hide. Boyd gets into the faraway tree and he is stuck in a chimney. Tabitha falls into a cave. Victor shows her the way and he explains that they sleep there. A bus arrives in town. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing.